Hello and welcome. Right. Being sent this by Rio Link. Now we have already used Rio Link cameras in the past. We have got one on top of his motorhome. It's been there for a couple of years and it still works perfectly. Crystal clear pictures, absolutely love it. So when they got in touch and said uh, we'd like you to test something else, I says, yeah, let's go for it. I want this one. This is the Rio Link Track Mix. Now I'll go into all the specs and everything later on. I think the first thing to do is just get this unboxed. It is a beauty. Battery operated, no wires, can't wait. Comes with, well it doesn't come with, you can buy this separately or buy them both as a bundle. You can buy that separately for £29.99 as well, which is next to nothing. And that is going to run this 24-7 uh, basically. So let's get straight into the package, see what we've got. We'll put the solar panel to one side for now and let's just concentrate on the camera. So let's have a quick look around the box. Um, it runs mainly off an app, which is what I like about this. It's, it's a dual camera. It's actually a dual lens, dual view, dual tracking camera. So we are going to have a wide lens and a zoomed in lens as well. Both on the same pic on the same screen on your app. Fantastic. Gives you a few of the specs on the other side there. I just want to get straight into it to be honest. Right, let's take a look inside here. Be prepared, be real link. We have got the instructions. Very well protected. We have got a few mounting screws and a charger. Now you don't need leads once this is set up, but you can um, pre-charge it before you put it up and then have it running off your solar panel. Let's get this thing out, put the box to one side. This is a beast, it really is, it's a heavy camera. Try and get this out without uh, damaging anything. In fact, I'm probably best taking this apart. It's so well packed. Yeah, I'm just going to rip this in half, I think. Now, take that out, that's it. We're getting there. There we are. So that is all you get in the box. That's all you need. One beautiful, big, solid camera. It is plastic, but it's, I think, I don't know, it feels almost like metal. It's its a heavy thing. It's a very well-made thing. Let's just peel them off. The best part of getting any new camera. Beautiful. So as you can see, there is two lenses on there. You've got some, I'm guessing they're the IR lights on there. Two antennas at the top. And your mounting bracket. So you could mount this onto a shed if you liked onto a fence post, you can mount it from the ceiling, from the back, whichever way you want. And that is where the solar panel is going to clip into. Very impressed, very impressed. Right, let's run through a few specs before I actually try and put this um, up and get it up and running. As I've already explained, it's dual lens there are your two lenses. You can see this moves all the way up and down, 90 degrees tilt up and down. It moves sideways all the way around. So you've got your dual lenses. One of them is a wide angle lens and one of them is a telephoto lens, so a zoom lens if you like. So you've got a broad coverage of what uh, you're filming and you've also got a close-up at the same time on the same screen on the app which we'll go into later once we've got this up we'll start showing you the app. It can pan 300, uh, 355 degrees around. Again I'm going to show you this on the app but you can remote control if you like if that's a word uh, you can make this turn from your app by pressing left right up down whatever uh, on your app you can make it move around so you've got pretty much a full 360 degrees camera here it is a 2k camera 4 megapixels it's a very crisp clear picture 
and the track mix it can tell the difference between cars people and animals which is incredible so if you only want people walking past uh, to be recorded you can set it so that it only alerts you when it's a person uh, you don't have to have all three you know if, if you live next to a road for example and you don't want all the cars um, giving you alerts on your phone all the time you can cancel the cars out which I find another good little feature it's got two-way audio so you can hear everything which is going on around this and you can talk to whoever is in front of it so if anyone comes near your property they're too close you don't want them there you can tell them to go away on that if you've got a visitor um, you can talk to them say I'll be down in a moment uh, so that's a very handy thing to have so you charge it with the solar panel as I say uh, there is a rechargeable battery built into this which I'm going to give it a charge before we mount it get it up to full um, battery and then I'm going to hook it up to the solar panel which should then now uh, should then uh, keep this going forever fingers crossed it's completely wireless as I say just works on the solar panel so there is a small wire as you can see here small wire is going to go from this to this but nothing uh, you don't need any wires leading into your house or van or anything like that it's got colour night vision up to a hundred feet now I'm very excited to show you that I have seen it in the past already and it is amazing it is the best colour pictures of any security camera I've ever seen so far so it is equipped with spotlights that's your spotlights there I believe and IR LEDs which I'm guessing is this bit at the bottom it's waterproof obviously it's an outdoor camera so don't worry about that it can do time lapses so you know if you get great sunset sunrises you could have some beautiful shots with this just keep it going it'll take a picture every however often you want it to maybe once every two minutes every five minutes and just put them all together and you are going to get a fantastic time lapse it takes up to a 128 gigabyte micro SD card uh, which will go in is it there there it is so you unscrew this put that in screw it back in never have to touch it again unless you want to use it the micro and just take that out and put it into your computer but you can have it just going straight to your cloud storage uh, which is what I think I'm going to be using this for you can take you can download the pictures on the app on your phone so you should never ever in theory have to touch this you just put it in in position and leave it and it will do the job right let's get this charged up and then let's get this mounted I'm very excited to show you the app because that will really show you what it is capable of it is a beast I've now got that on charge so it comes with a charger which just clips in there which is the same size as the one on the solar panel obviously so that's charging now it's got an orange light there which tells me it is still charging uh, in the side here I've just taken these off so you can see so you have a reset button and an on off switch there and in the bottom here is where you put your SD card so I am going to put in a 128 gigabyte one which is the maximum you can have stick that in there have I got it the right way around or upside down I never know with these that seems right that's it so this is actually I think that's made of metal that bit screw that back on there and that will be fully waterproof and you should never have to go into that again unless you uh, if you are uploading by downloading the clips by cloud that is so I'll screw this on and wait for it to be charged whilst it's doing that I'll just quickly tell you about the app so this is the Rio link app that's what you're looking for I'm sure you can just scan the box actually where's the box gone so well it says app store no it's not got a cue card on the box but I'm sure it will do inside the instructions uh, but I've already got the app so I'll just click on that uh, try and add a device a plus up in the top corner which I've done and now it's scanning looking for the cameras QR code 
So I'm not sure if this will work. Adding device. I'm not sure if this will work whilst it's charging, but we'll give it a go. Wi-Fi not configured. Uh, please make sure the device is powered and turned on. That would be a thing, it's not on. Okay, it's now on and I can see a little red light. Whoop. Welcome to Rio Link. Connected. Link I've done that. I have now successfully um, linked the camera to the app. You see how there's two pictures on there, I don't know how well you can see it in this lighting, um, but one's zoomed in and one's far away. So I did find that a bit fiddly, but I'll tell you why, because I wasn't close enough to the router inside the motorhome. Um, so I just took the camera inside and it connected straight away. So all you have to do really is turn the camera on um, scan the QR, it'll tell you what to do on screen anyway, uh, scan the QR code at the top and then it'll say can you hear this, can you hear this bleep, can you hear voices, things like that and then it tells you to hold this in front of the camera about 10-12 inches away and it will bleep and then once it's bleeped you've put in your password for your uh, router and it all connects so we are now all set up the battery itself so if we can go into settings on my phone here it's saying the battery is at 57 percent so i'll give that a bit longer get it up to 100 and then we'll throw this outside and start reviewing it properly starting to get excited now so we're expecting big storms in a few days time very heavy winds um so I really want this camera up in time so I can keep an eye on us awning from in bed overnight. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is putting the camera up here. I've already got the solar panel up there facing the sun. And the, the camera is going to go in here for now. This is only temporary. I think what I'm going to do eventually is move this into this corner down here out of the way. As long as it's getting our pitch. I'm happy. So yeah, just need to wait for that to, uh, the battery to be charged. Or do I really have to? With such bright sunshine today, maybe it would just fully charge anyway, but I might as well wait, hadn't I? After careful consideration, I've decided I can't wait any longer. <laughs> I just can't wait. You know, we've got sun over there. If we get this linked up to the solar panel, um, <laughs> It's going to be charging anyway, isn't it? So, let me just get round there. Now, another beauty about this, which I'm hoping to go into later, is you can blank things out of the camera's view so that it doesn't set it off. For example, I don't want to show their caravan. I, don't, I want them to have their privacy so I can block out all this area and the camera will never go off. So they still have their... Um, what's the word privacy right I've already got this lined up I'm gonna be putting it here for now as I say this is only temporary I'm gonna probably move it over there eventually but for the sake of the review we're just gonna put it up here and see how we get on we are all set up so that is beautifully in the Sun there at the moment it's just so easy to do you know there's two screws in there you can put a couple more on but to clip it off easily I've just put two in for now so I can slide it back off um, I've just put the strapping around the back I've got a bird box on the other side which is why I'm wanting to move it back over there and a security light here um, but this will basically film from right down there until it, the post is in the way all pan all the way around up to about there which is going to be incredible right it's all set up I know it's working because there's a little orange light on there showing me that it's charging from the solar panel so it's all about the app now let's just go in and enjoy the app right let's take a look at the app because this is where all the magic happens so I've downloaded the app you can see a number one in the top corner there that means it's recorded something I'll move on to that in a bit so let's click on and now it's connecting to both cameras remember it's a dual lens 
So it's both pointing in the same direction. You've got one which is a very wide screen at the top and one which is zoomed in at the bottom. So if you see at the top there, there's next to the cog wheel, there's like two mobile phones next to each other. That's showing that there's two cameras in the screen. So I'm just going to click that. So we've just got the one now. And at the bottom there, you've got a PTZ. So I'm going to click on that. And it brings up this little wheel. So we can now pan around. So I'm going to pan right over this way. And you can actually see the post we're mounted on there. So let's go the other way and see how far this will cover. I think it will cover right up to uh, the post again. Look at that. So it says, I think it says it's 355 degrees. It, it's 360, isn't it? It's pretty much 360. So let's get back so that we've got something in view. We'll go up. Oh, we, that, sorry, that is as far as up as it will go. Let's go down. Wow, okay. Okay, so we've got 90 degrees up and down. So the actual view you have got is incredible. Right, what else can we do on this? Let's go into settings, the cog wheel up at the top, and see what we've got. So, battery is on 55%, and it is charging. It's on the uh, solar panel at the moment. Display, let's just click that, see what that says. So you can flip it. Why would you want to flip it upside down? I don't know, but you can. Uh, you can flip it the other way around. Anti-flicker, I always have on 50 hertz because that's what you need for your European cameras. Day and night is on auto. Brightness, you can adjust the brightness there. Have it wherever you feel comfortable. Uh, watermark, you can have a Rio Link watermark on there if you wish. Privacy mask, you're going to like this one. So, here we have our next door neighbour's van. Now, I can now put a big thing over there. In fact, I can do the old driveway. So, basically, anyone on the campsite is not going to be recorded within that box which would be fantastic for giving them privacy. So if anyone has anything to say about, oh, you're recording me, well, no, I'm not. I'm only recording you if you come into our space. So I like that feature. See what else we've got. So brightness and shadows at the bottom there. Everything's on auto. You can put all this on yourself. So you can adjust your own brightness, your own shadows. Or you can just keep it on auto, which is probably the best thing to do. Let's go right back. So we've got audio. Um, it is recording audio. Um, I can do a t I don't need to do any of that. I've done it with my girlfriend. Um, she's stood in here and talked, and I've got a camera clip of me next to it so that you can hear that. I'll put that in now. Right, I'm just going to get my lovely fiance to uh, talk into my phone. So pretend I'm laying in bed, for example, and there's somebody over here who shouldn't be over here. Um, I can ask them a question. Let's see what the sound is like on this. Okay. And again. Very good, very good. Now it's it is a bit uh, bitty because she's not in the van. Uh, the Wi-Fi signal isn't yeah. amazing. I'm feeling, I'm hearing you. But inside the van, the sound will be perfect. It's very clear, crystal clear. So very happy with that. You know, you can change your um, sensitivity for people, vehicles, or pets, or you can have them on or off. So if you don't want vehicle, let's say you've got this camera next to a main road and there's cars going past all the time and you don't want a notification when it's a car, 
it can cut cars out it can just sh just show you people coming past which i think is brilliant how it does that i don't know you can have auto tracking at the bottom there so if someone does walk past the camera will follow them an excellent feature again you can have email alerts you can have push notifications now i've just had one as i said if we go back to the other screen there's a one in the top corner there if we swipe down camera alert person is detected from rio link track mix let's click on that there was an alert for somebody moved there it is it's a beautiful man there look so it gives you a little alert in the bot in the top so obviously this is showing both cameras there so let me just get onto one camera and you can move the screen around you can zoom right in that's as far as i can zoom in it's not recording you can press record there at the bottom you can take a picture or you can click record and it will record you have got the time lapse down there at the bottom look so you can set up a time lapse you can have it going for however you know going off every few minutes and get an amazing you could, you could have a time lapse over like six months this is how they do it on tv that would look incredible um advanced at the bottom no we don't need that we don't need that just to set your date and time up there there is something on here right up here look if you look at the cameras right up at the top you've got a i don't really want to set this off because it's very loud but i'll do it very quickly see the alert button trigger audio alarm did you hear that in the background then it is very loud it is like a car alarm i've just triggered up the camera up which is behind me that's fantastic so if you have got a burglar for example or someone breaking in or you're in trouble just press that it lets off a big loud siren and everyone's going to come running and helping you hopefully that's the plan anyway so the settings are all about you playing around with them seeing what you prefer finding out what this thing can do it can do so much i'm probably going to be missing so much off this what i do need to do is show you the nighttime picture in color it is absolutely incredible so um hopefully we're going to get an animal if you press the ptz button at the bottom look and scan round this is a massive wildlife area down here i've actually got a bird feeder set up there and we do sometimes get badgers and deer coming through there so hopefully we'll catch something there tonight and i can show you that tomorrow so i'll leave this for now for the whole wi-fi uh, sorry for the whole app show if you like and we'll sum this up tomorrow but first impressions i am very very excited and here is the night vision view check this out so this is in black and white without the light on but if you see the little torch up at the top there you can click that and it's going to come on in color how cool is that now this isn't the best example in the world even though it still looks amazing um it's very misty outside at the moment but you can see that is the best colour nighttime video I can remember ever seeing. Look at that. We're looking down at the ground there. Look, you can see it's quite frosty. So, if, I'm not saying there is, because I know there isn't at the moment, if there was a deer there, or any wildlife coming out of them trees we would have a fantastic picture and hopefully we will we'll have to see what happens tonight but uh, yeah wonderful color picture
It was a quiet night on campsite, so didn't get any pictures to show you last night. Only me coming out in my dressing gown at one point. Um, but yeah, it's going to take time for me to get the pictures I want to show you, to show you what it can do. Um, but I'll be doing that in, in a future video. But uh, it's all set up, ready to go now. Last thing I need to do is stick my security sticker. I'm going to be sticking this on the van window in here. I always put these up if I get new security. It always puts the thieves off, I find. So that is a brief look around the Rio Link track mix. Fantastic home security, fantastic to secure your property. Um, highly advise this. I will be doing an update video of this in a month or two, just to let you know how I'm getting on with it. I've got, you know, it's still new to me, so I'm still learning a lot about it, how to use the various settings, get it exactly how I want it, and get it in the place I want it. But uh, first impressions, extremely good. So thank you to Rio Link for sending me this out to do this review. If anyone's interested, I'll be putting links in the description. Get down there, get yourself one. Highly advised. Thank you very much for watching. See you all on the next one. Bye-bye.